Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at two canar or canary, however you pronounce this, which I actually don't know. Um, we're going to look at two mic cables. So um, in my shop, I keep Starquad cable in stock. Um, this is a standard twisted pair cable. Uh, it's a four conductor cable. Um, and there are two versions of it that I keep in stock. And I just thought, man, I should make a video on the two different versions so that if you're shopping for a mic cable, you know what you're looking at. So um, as I said before, there are two versions. There is the L-4E6S. Uh, this is the portable version of the cable. And then there is the LE-4-6AT cable, which is the install version of the cable. Um, the main difference is, even just from the exterior side of things, um, the... the um, portable cable, the L4E6S cable has a softer rubber jacket. Um, the uh, the L4E6AT has a, um, a tougher exterior jacket. So uh, let's get these cables stripped and I'll show you uh, some of the primary differences. So let's start with the install cable, the L4E6AT. Um, so if we just bend this back a little bit here, we're going to very gently rock our knife. So you can see how this how this particular cable strips back. So looking at this, you can see that the we have our drain wire, which is this guy right here, this uh, this aluminum wire. And then as we take it apart, here are the conductors. So we have two, two white conductors, two blue conductors, um, and they are separated by this little thread here, just like this. Um, and then there is this fuzzy yellow, whatever this is. I believe it's called jute on the, uh, on the description that keeps the conductor separated. So. This strips nice and easy, just like this. Um, and when you're dealing with this, the trickiest thing about using this particular cable is cutting this this yellow. Um, you know, you can do it with utility knife. I like to keep these little Klein strippers. Um, I, I buy these once every couple of months just to keep them really sharp, um, specifically for cutting this cable. So if you go in here and cut this, just like that, you can see it. It kind of wants to cut sometimes. There can be some little stringy, some little stringy threads, but um, here is the cable. Uh, conductor separated, the little, the little yellow guy in there, and then there's the uh, the drain wire. So um, when we go to the portable version here, and we strip it back, let's move that out of the way. Doing the same strip procedure here. So this is the braiding about uh, on this cable. So this would essentially be your ground wire. Um, this is your ground wire when you're uh, when you're when you're soldering this. So um, this cable is a little bit more difficult to build. It's difficult to take this this braiding back. So the best way to do it is uh, get a pair of tweezers here, and then I like to just kind of fray it like this. And once you get it started. Sorry for the camera focusing here. All right, so once you've get this stripped, it kind of looks like this. So all you want to do here is just pull this back. And I like to just twist it like this and make a little tail. So when we're looking at the, the cable itself here, uh, there is some paper that protects all the conductors. So all you do is just sort of twist it and it comes apart just like this. So um, when we're pulling this cable apart, there isn't any yellow um, separator in here. So this is just the, the string, this little white string, and then this piece of paper. So again, the same procedure as the install cable. All you have to do is just pull it tight and then grab a pair of, uh, grab a pair of, of your flush cutters and just trim it just like that. So looking at the two cables next to each other, this is the install wire, this is the portable wire. 
Um, again, it's the same conductors on the inside. The only thing that's really the difference is this braided uh, shielding that's that's happening here on the outside. And then, of course, the um, the, the rubberized jacketing. This It's a little bit thicker. Um, let me see if I can move this out of the way so you can see it. It's a little bit thicker. So um, in reality, is, is there really a huge difference? I, I keep more of the install um, the install wire in stock just because it's easier to build. Um, tearing this this shielding back is is kind of a pain, as you can see. So I, I like to build things for this. This is because in, in my world, it's rack panels and, and installed kind of stuff anyway. I'm very rarely building my cable that is portable. But when I do, I absolutely... Um, use the portable version so anyway um i got a video coming up that just shows you how to build mic cable out of this so check that out um and uh, if you have any questions about either of these two cables just let me know but thanks for stopping by